Mr. Anderson, you're a do Dr. Anderson. I'm sorry? Dr. Anderson. Okay. Dr. Anderson, you're a top-notch scientist. You're clearly qualified for this position in our lab. It's just... Your resume raises some questions. Oh, really? Yes, it seems that most of the things listed here haven't happened yet. Name one. All right. How about gold medalists in the 2016 Olympics? I'll have you know, I've been training night and day. For which event? All of them. I see. Impressive, I know. Let me tell you something you gotta understand about me. I have ambition and vision. Ambition! Right. Uh, <laughs> it says here that uh, you see yourself as, and I'm reading from your government section, the first president of Mars in 2034. Yes, the people of Mars are going to need strong leadership. Dr. Anderson, do you have any accomplishments from the past that you'd like to highlight? Absolutely, I do. Right there at the bottom of page 18. In 2009, I made the groundbreaking decision to list things from the future on my resume. Pretty slick, huh? Pretty slick indeed. Get out. All right. You can sleep at night knowing that you didn't hire the one man who can stop the oncoming zombie onslaught. Wait, hang on just a second. Did you say zombie onslaught? Oh yeah. Please, sit down. Please, sit down. Um, I'll be honest with you, okay? I'm terrified of zombies. Well, if you hire me, I'll tell you more. You're hired. All right, full disclosure, I don't quite have the solution yet. Fired. But. I know I come upon it during my time at your lab. Hired. I just need a lot more funding. Fired. To learn how to more effectively kill the zombies. Hired. Also, I need two weeks off for a wedding next month. Fired. Zombies. Hired? Hired. Hired. All right, let's get you started on this drug test. Ooh, fired. 